looking at the numbers, they're they're. It's it's. I, I don't see how it would be way too complex. Sir, have you read the Associated Press lawsuit documents where they got the uh, four-year documents from the Big Ten oil companies and from 1995 and 96 uh, broken the AP in 2000, where they swear their internal documents in meetings as a as a oligopoly or a combine. They report in there. You can just uh, search engine uh, AP. Uh, oil companies buying up refineries, artificial bottleneck, and they say there's too much oil. We've got to buy up refineries worldwide and the U.S. to create an artificial bottleneck and then control for environmental groups the bringing uh, oil to market through smaller groups to create an artificial monopoly. Or we're going to be bankrupted. I mean, did you know in the 20s that heroin and cocaine were made illegal, lobbied by the big heroin and cocaine companies? Because they lost their monopoly, they wanted it back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Are you fed up with all the side effects of chemicals in your shampoos and detergents? Even fragrances can signal some 4,000 separate ingredients most of which are synthetic. Hi folks, Alex Jones here. Why not go back to basics and be safe with Calvin Pure Soaps? They're all natural and you'll save some 85% of the money you're spending for your cleaning products now. Marty Schachter founded Calvin Soap Company in 1947 and provided products for health institutions. Now, Calvin Soaps are available to you and me. Triple concentrated for all your cleaning needs, from bathing and laundry to dishes, hair and more. No harsh chemicals, no animal testing. I use them and love them, knowing they're all natural and safe and i save big time call calvin pure soap at 1-800-340-7091 that's 1-800-340-7091 or log on to fivestarsoap.com now for a free catalog again that number 1-800-340-7091 or fivestarsoap.com for all your cleaning needs in the new world order's war against humanity Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement, a personality cultist, who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascist. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of the Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. HempUSA.org is now offering free shipping worldwide to better serve our customers. Our goal is to get these fine hemp products to you in the least amount of time so you can enjoy what the powder seeds and oil can do for you. HempUSA.org has a warning that the U.S. food supplies are dangerously low, and we urge you to protect your family with hemp storable foods today. Tomorrow may be too late. Call 908-691-2608 or visit HempUSA.org. This incredible food source is loaded with enzymes so your body can digest the food you eat. And it creates an alkaline environment where cancer can't grow and parasites cannot live and brings funguses, viruses, and bacterial levels down and to a halt. Try our powder seeds and oil today. Call 908-691-2608 or visit hempusa.org. If the body has the proper nutrition, it will heal itself. Ask yourself. Why does our government not allow this crop to grow in the U.S.? This product is also great for pets and animals. Call 908-691-2608 or go to hempusa.org today. There's a man going around taking names. And he decides who to free and who to blame. Everybody won't be treated all the same. There'll be a golden letter reaching down. The whole point the break cut off was that when the man comes around. On record, it was the big importers of opium and cocaine and other drugs that were sold in drugstores everywhere. People really weren't using their drugs. The word was out they were bad for you. 
They were trying to put them in all the soft drinks, push them on kids. That wasn't working too well. This is all on record. Dr. Pepper had cocaine, other stuff in it, so did Coca-Cola. You don't believe me. That's why Coke's called Coke. I assure you. Had high levels of cocaine in it. The mystery secret ingredient, because the cattle aren't ready to hear it, is denatured cocaine in Coca-Cola and Pepsi. That's like decaf. It's decoconated. They just made it illegal to jack up the price. And that's what the global warming carbon tax is. They're going to tax the daylights out of it. They're going to say it's bad for the earth. Carbon dioxide that you exhale is a toxic waste. No, it's not. The plants breathe. There is oil everywhere. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, they drill all over Texas. And almost everywhere they drill, depending on how deep they go. I mean, there's an oil field from Fort Worth down to Houston. Everywhere they drill, they're hitting oil at two, three levels and natural gas. It's just, it, you know. Look, my family's from Texas, okay? Both my grandfathers worked as roughnecks, you know, right out of college. And then my, uh, one of my grandpas was a, you know, after that, a, a lease hound, going around trying to get oil leases to people's property. In New Mexico, you know, they lived in, uh, well, what's the town? Roswell, they lived there. Uh, crazy story my grandma told. <laughs> We're coming back the day after Christmas. From Rio Dosa, about four years ago, we've been skiing, and we took her. We got an RV, my parents, my grandma, last living grandparent. We all drive out to Rio Dosa, and one of my daughters, who only had one daughter at the time, got a cold. We knew high altitude, 9,000 feet wasn't good for a cold, chest cold. So we came home. So the day after Christmas, we're sitting there in Roswell at a Denny's with horrible service. It took them like an hour and a half to bring us eggs or something. And we're sitting there. And she goes, oh, yeah, I remember when uh, Bill, that's my grandfather, worked in the petroleum building right there. Uh, I, forget, I forget for what oil company. And uh, back in 1947 or whatever, you know, when uh, when uh, Biff, that's, that's my mother's brother, uh, was born. I was like, I didn't even know you lived in New Mexico. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember now you were, you know. And then uh, I was like, hey, do you remember the Roswell crash? That's when that happened. And she said, I don't remember anything about that, but I remember when they had something under a big tarp on a truck, and they said it was martial law, and there were soldiers with machine guns in the town. <laughs> How weird is it my grandmother was in Roswell and all that went on? And I don't cover UFOs. Well, I don't know what happened. point is, it's funny. Uh-oh, now it's going to be that I'm working for the aliens. Actually, that's already been said before. They, they have it on good authority. I am actually not a Vatican assassin or an Israeli agent. I'm actually a reptoid, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, even if I am a reptoid, still the bankers are ruling us. We got to do something about it. Exposing that I'm a reptoid isn't going to save us. We have to get motivated and take action against the new world order. And if we don't let them get us all fighting with each other, and if we just move forward against the globalists and what the, their policies are, whether it's reptoids from Planet Pop Tart or whoever that runs it, then we can get all Americans and people of the world together to defeat globalization, which is global tyranny. Um, all right, I'm going to talk to Tim, I'm going to talk to Dave, I'm going to talk to Wendy, to Tony, and Kirk. And I'll be getting for calls until I finish all the news, because we've got new, huge developments in censorship by YouTube. Just ultra-massive, open announcements, no more videos, period, on Google. It's been announced. Been announced. I told everybody this. They are shutting the web down piece by piece. They're just flipping switches. Imagine like a 100 switches, and they're going... Every week, another switch. We're like, oh, look, the you know, New York Times says they're shutting the web down as we knew it to take away free speech for our safety and to be gatekeepers. And they're flipping the switches. And Jay Rockefeller says they're going to shut the web down. They're flipping switches. And I'm going, ah, ah. And they got bills introduced to, to uh, charge you with felonies if someone says it hurt their feelings, what you said. Flipping switches. I'm going, ah, ah. And the public's still, ah, shut up, reptoid. And I'm like, man, listen, we got serious stuff to talk about here. And I understand why people kind of psychologically sometimes divert off serious issues into kind of sub stuff because this is scary. And I got the government's run white slavery rings coming up. I do, though, right now with PrisonPlanet.tv viewers and radio listeners, if you're just a radio listener, not a PrisonPlanet.tv member, you should become one. I mean, five plus years up and running, 22 films, hundreds and hundreds of video reports. Expanded extras just for PrisonPlanet.tv members. I'm going to announce tomorrow the new film that goes on pre-sale that will be shipping in 14 days. But It's a little quick film I made, but it's very good. 
a special subject uh, that that's coming up. Uh, so this.